This is a follow-up on the Enigma machine pocket watch that I made. One of the comments that was made on Hacker Day, I believe, um, was that they didn't care that it didn't even tell the time. Now, that got me thinking. Um, why couldn't it, basically? So, when I built it, I was so busy worrying about stuffing the Enigma machine in there, I didn't even think about making it into an actual watch. So, I had a look about how I could actually do that. And one of the things you can get is what's called an RTC chip, a um, real-time clock chip. And basically it's just a little chip that uh, you connect up to your microcontroller and you can set the time on it and then it sits there quite happily as long as it's got power counting up the time for you. And these usually use a crystal uh, and keep very accurate time. And then when you want to know the time, your micro just reads it back. Now, you can buy little modules that do this pretty easily, and there are Arduino libraries for it already. Um, but those modules, even though they're small, were not small enough to fit inside the watch. So I went looking for alternatives, and I came across the ST Microelectronics M41T62s, uh, which is a tiny, tiny self-contained RTC chip, basically. Uh, it contains its own crystal, so you don't even need an external crystal. Uh, it's basically the little the little silver thing there in its carrier. Um, now that thing's got eight pins on it, and it's 1.5 millimeters by 3.2 millimeters wide. And basically there was no trouble fitting that into the watch. Um, so basically, that's what I've done. I um, had to fit that and a couple of pull-up resistors. But as I say, it's so tiny, there was plenty of room. Uh, it was tricky soldering the thing because I had to use uh, 0 0.15 millimeter wire to connect to it because, because it is so small. You can't use very thick wires because mechanically the pads just won't take it. Um, you'll just rip the pads off the thing. So I had to solder four very, very fine wires to it. And basically it's hooked up so that when the, when the watch opens, it reads from the chip and it displays the time in the bottom corner of the splash screen. Uh, basically it's 24 hour time and it just gives you the hours and the minutes. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's the, the RTC chip is wired directly across the battery, so it is powered even when the Arduino inside the watch is turned off. And reading it is pretty much, much instantaneous. So as soon as you open the lid, it's read the time and it's displaying it on the screen there. It only reads it once on startup, and then the internal clock of the Arduino is now actually keeping the time up to date on here. Um, given I would actually only ever use this to, to quickly check the time, that's not, not a big problem, that the accuracy isn't that high. Um, you can set the time by holding down the left and right buttons and pressing the select button, uh, which is there. Oops. If we turn it off and turn it back on again. So you hold down left and press select and that counts the hours up and it just wraps around when it gets to to zero and similar for the minutes you can just set the time like that now because I've changed the time it knows that and when we exit the screen uh, it's now updated the RTC chip with the new time so if we close it and open it again it should have the time that we just set and yeah that's basically it um, it makes the whole device actually a watch now so it's far more practical and um, i actually do carry it around with me everywhere one because it's a cool little thing to carry around but two it's actually useful because now it does tell the time this is a little update on the enigma machine pocket watch project um, I did get this finished and it was working as a, a proper Enigma machine. And then 
one of the comments, I think it might have been on Hacker Day, was um, that I could be forgiven for not actually making it tell the time. And I thought, well, why not? Why, why doesn't it tell the time? Um, the truth is, I was so busy thinking about how to get the Enigma part in there, I didn't even think about turning it into a proper watch. But it turns out that's, that's not too difficult to do. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify it to display the time on the splash screen. Um, this is just mocked up at the moment, uh, but you can see the, the hours and the minutes displayed there on the splash screen. And the way this will work is, um, this is my breadboarded mock-up. This is with the screen that actually broke when I was building the watch. Uh, it still partially works, it's just got a few lines missing. Um, what I've done is I've got hold of a uh, real-time clock chip, which is this little guy here. Um, this chip is a oh, uh, STM41T62, um, which is a RTC clock calendar chip. And as you can see, it's quite tiny. It's 1.5 millimeters by 3.2 millimeters, and it comes with a integral crystal, so you don't actually need a crystal for it. Um, you talk to it via I squared C, and so you do need two, two pull-up resistors. Now I could get some surface mount resistors for this, but I should have room in the watch for a couple of normal quarter watt resistors. And basically it's just a four wire connection. You've got power and ground and um, the two I squared C lines. So I had to rejig some of the wiring in the watch a little bit just to move things around uh, to free up the, the correct pins. And as you can see, I've mocked that up here. This is the watch. And the way this works, the way these chips work is you, as long as they've got power to them, they, they keep incrementing the time. And what you can do is set the time on them and then read it back. And as long as it's got power, it keeps the time very accurately. So what I'm going to do is wire up the RTC chip into the watch so that it's permanently across the batteries. Uh, this will mean that when you change the batteries you're going to lose the time but it's not going to be such a big deal to reset it. And then what happens is when the watch starts up, when the Arduino starts up it's going to query the time from the um, RTC chip and just display it on the splash screen. So it means when you open the pocket watch, open the lid, you can just read the time off and then close it up again. Now to set the time, um, I had to come up with a very simple interface because of course I've only got three buttons and the way that's going to work is you, you hold down the left and right buttons and then you, you click the select button and you can see the, the hours changing there and then the minutes. Um, when this is running like this on the splash screen, it's actually not reading from the, the RTC chip all the time. It's actually now running off a, an internal timer on the Arduino, but this will keep, keep the time reasonably accurately. I, I'm not expecting great accuracy from this, but it doesn't really matter. Um, if I have to adjust the time every week or so, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, and then basically when you go off the splash screen, if the time's been updated, it will store that updated time back into the RTC. So that next time when you open the lid, it'll have the correct time again. Um, it's quite quick to start up. If I power this off and then somehow, this could be a bit tricky to do. Um, I need to plug it back in. So it starts up very quickly. Um, the time now is reading zero because, of course, with the power disconnected, my RTC chip has reset itself back to zero. So at the moment, I'm just doing some tests with this all set up on the breadboard. And um, if that all seems to be working fine, I'll open up the watch and I'll add this little tiny chip. Um, it was very tricky to solder the wires to it. So those are 0.15 mil enameled wires. Um, 
but as you can see the chip is so tiny there's plenty of room in the watch for it. So that'll be the next job.